it costs an enormous amount of money to move goods from factories through warehouses and logistics networks to a customer's doorstep, some $82 billion worldwide, estimates McKenzie and company what's more. As an effect of the e-commerce boom, the pressure to deliver parcels and packages more quickly is rising annually, prompting a number of leading retailers and logistics providers to test a range of new technologies to tame costs along the entire delivery route. Among options receiving serious attention are warehouse automation systems that rely on augmented reality R glasses to glean more accurate real-time inventory insights robots that help human co-workers find and assemble shipments more efficiently, and drones that could help deliver items to rural or hard-to-reach locations. Tests of these technologies are unfolding most rapidly in developed countries, including Germany and the United Kingdom. If companies operate in a country with high labor costs, they must start thinking about the future of the last mile now, as they need to lay foundations in HR, IT and the investment strategy notes McKinsey in its 2016 report on last mile delivery. Those that fail to act soon will forfeit their chance to be among the contenders for the last mile in the long term. Drone technology, in particular, has captured the attention and imagination of the general public, retailers and regulatory agencies around the world. Deutsche Post DHL the world's largest logistics company with more than 510,000 employees in 220 countries, has been actively testing this approach for several years with its parcel copter. While the skybound parcel copter might be what captures attention, the system DHL uses to support the drone on the ground could be an even more impressive feat of engineering. The parcel copter took off and landed from an automated drop off and pickup station called the Skyport where items were loaded or unloaded automatically. The big question how will this technology fly in cities? Of course, it would be somewhat premature at this juncture to attempt any definitive assessment as to the role that parcel copters or other types of transport drones might play in the logistics services of the future. When it comes to developing the technology further we still have much to do, but, first and foremost, the responsible authorities have still to agree on regulations to enable the integration of drones into Germany's air traffic management system, underlines Jürgen Gerdes, CEO of Post, e-commerce, parcel at Deutsche Post DHL Group. In some ways, the Skyport was a highly sophisticated version of DHL's pack stations, the automated delivery kiosks available in more than 1,600 cities and towns across Germany. These kiosks include a secure ordering system and digitally controlled locking mechanisms. For consumers, the technology offers a self-service means of shipping or picking up packages as their schedule allows, and almost 90% of the country's population lives within 10 minutes of one. Italy and the Netherlands are up next. For DHL, it's a cost-effective way of consolidating deliveries. Emerging automation and robotics systems will also be central to DHL's next-generation warehouse operations, especially in improving the way products are selected from shelves or storerooms, tracked and then loaded into containers or vehicles. Smart or our glasses are making warehouse operations smoother. DHL is leveraging the technology in multiple locations using smart glasses from Vuzix and Google powered by Ubimax's R software. The glasses display order instructions for warehouse personnel as they move around a facility wearing the device, leaving their hands free for other tasks. While many large sorting hubs across the logistics industry are incorporating some level of automation or digitization, most warehouses still use highly manual processes. Spurred by the rise of low-cost sensor technologies, wireless communications advances and more sophisticated artificial intelligence software, that might soon be changing. Recent developments in robotics might turn out to be a game-changer for the logistics industry, notes Oliver Brock, head of the Robotics and Biology Laboratory at the Technical University of Berlin which won a 2015 Robotics in Logistics contest held by retail giant Amazon. Robots now are able to perceive, pick, 
manipulate and place a wide variety of objects in less and less structured environments. DHL is actively testing its own robotics solution called EffiBot, developed by French startup Evidence. EffiBot follows warehouse workers and picks up goods as they are selected. With a capacity of up to 550 pounds, it was part of the support operations for pit crews at a Formula E racing event in summer 2017 for which DHL is the primary logistics partner. A cousin of EffiBot, PostBot is helping Deutsche Post apply robotics technology more directly to mail delivery. PostBot, which accompanies delivery teams on their routes, 